Okay, so here we are in drawing one. And what we're going to do is we're going to start to set up the user interface so that my user interface looks just like your user interface and vice versa. Okay, so let's get started. All right, so the first thing that I want you to do um, is if you have any dialog boxes like this one over here that I have, which is called the design feed, um, we're going to close that because we don't need that. If you have a tool palette, which also looks similar to this, you can just uh, basically pick on the small X and close that out. Okay, the next thing that we're going to do is I want to make sure that we're all using the same workspace. Okay, so you want to come down here to the status bar, which is this bar here that has all these icons on it. And you're going to look for the one with an icon that looks like a gear. Okay, and that is workspace settings. So I want you to pick on the little arrow next to the gear. And I want you to make sure that drafting and annotation is checked in your workspace. Okay, so I'll just click that again. And the next thing I'm going to come back to that arrow one more time and I'm going to pick on workspace settings. Okay, that's going to bring up this dialog box. And what we're going to do is we're going to bullet right here automatically save workspace changes. Okay, so what that means is that any changes that we do to our workspace will stick so that the next day when you come into AutoCAD, it looks the way that you left it. All right, so let's pick OK there. All right, another thing that I want to change uh, in this interface is I want to kind of change where the command line is. Okay, right now, um, my command line is kind of a floating command line, as you can see here. And what I'm doing to move it is I'm grabbing it by these uh, little dots here on the left hand side. Now if I drag it down to the corner and then let go, it's going to dock. Now yours may already be docked and if it is that's fine you can leave it there. Um, but if it's not you can dock it just like I did. Alright, so what we have down here is the white area is the active command line and then everything above that is commands that have already happened. It's kind of like um, an upside down waterfall is how I like to think of it. It's kind of what's already gone by. Okay, so I like to see at least three lines. So if I hover my cursor between the command line window and the drawing area, I'm going to get this double arrow and I'm just going to bring it up one there so that I see two or three lines there. I like to see a couple lines like that. Okay, the next thing that I want to do is I want to make some changes to the status bar. Now this thing down here with all these icons on it is called the status bar. Okay, now um, in 2016 they have a lot of icons and I want to kind of minimize some of those out because we're not going to use them all. So to, in order to do that, we're going to come over here to the right hand side where there's these three bars and we're going to click on customize. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I am going to turn off some of these icons. All right. So one of the things we don't want to see, and I'm looking at my notes here, which will be in your supplemental materials so that you can look on to when you go to do this. Um, I'm going to uncheck the infer constraints. I'm going to uncheck isometric drafting. Um, I'm also going to uncheck transparency, selection, cycling, 3D object snap, and selection filtering. Um, I'm also going to uncheck dynamic UCS. I'm going to uncheck gizmo, and we're going to uncheck the annotation monitor. I'm going to uncheck units and I'm going to uncheck quick properties. I'm also going to uncheck isolate objects and clean screen. Okay, so what that's going to do, and you probably already noticed, is it has made the status bar much smaller and it's going to give us a little more real estate and help AutoCAD be less confusing because we're not going to use a lot of those. And if we want them back, we can actually just click on that three bar button again and get them back. Okay, so I'm going to click on that now to minimize that screen. Now that we've got our workspace settings set, 
We've got the status bar the way we like it. We've moved to the command line. Stay tuned for the next part of the user interface.